This is Cindy and Jerry from Casa de Fruta in Hollister, California. We came here almost two months ago to get gas. And we found this RV park in beautiful setting. We've been here close to two months. We're always looking for a new way to cook, a good way to cook. You live in an RV, we kind of feel like we're limited. Try different cooking machinery and equipment and just haven't found anything that I'm just crazy about. Had a neighbor recently and she had a stove like this and she was out there cooking a pot of soup. Well, my experience with gas stoves, a soup. Well, my experience with gas stoves outside has been they don't have enough power to cook a big pot of soup. So we decided to try one and today we went and bought the Sh Camp Chef Explorer. It has two burners. We've got it hooked up to the propane tank on the RV and we're going to try to cook some chili. This chili is windy chili recipe that someone made up. We used to love Wendy's chili. Haven't had it in years but this at the time we were eating it and we got this recipe, we found this even better. So I'm gonna give it a go today and try it. We're gonna try out the new stove and this recipe. Just sprayed a little bit um, bottom of my pan because this is an old pan. The best soup and chili pan I've ever had. It's even got a dent in it. I'm not giving it up. Let's start off this chili with two pounds of ground beef, 85-15. Well, I bought the 90-10 today because I'm going to cook outside. I won't be draining it. And I think that'll work just as well, maybe even better. So this is two pounds. I'm gonna put it in here and let it get browned up and then go from there. We'll probably work on adjusting the temperature. Don't really know how this heats up, this burner here. And hopefully we'll end up with a meal that's not burned to a crisp. Okay, looks like it's heating up very nicely. Really excited about this. I've got everything measured out here. We have bell pepper, uh, one bell pepper, one yellow onion, two stalks of celery, and one jalapeno seeded. Uh, I coarse chop everything because I like to taste and feel the vegetables in the chili. If you like it where the vegetables don't stand out so much, you can chop them up finer, but this is all coarse grind. A can of kidney beans, a can of tomato puree, a kidney, a can of pinto beans, and a can of diced tomatoes. Spices, let's see, it's one fourth a cup of chili powder, a tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of pepper, and it's supposed to be two teaspoons of salt, but I don't like to over salt, so I always cut the salt in half and add it after we finish the meal, or finish cooking. The chili powder is a heaping uh, quarter, of a tea, quarter of a cup, and the cumin is also a heaping tablespoon of cumin because I like a lot of flavor. And most recipes just don't seem to have enough. So when this meat gets all browned up, we're gonna add our veggies and, and go from there. So far, this stove is working fabulous. Heating it up as good as any stove I've ever had. A spoon for the beef to brown it, but then I'm not using it after that because it will have the beef blood on it. So I'll change to another utensil. It looks like we're not going to have too much fat, just enough for the veggies to get brown. Look at this, it's already brown. So I think it's safe to go ahead and move on to another spoon. Celery, bell pepper, and jalapeno. This shouldn't add too much heat since it's seeded. Just enough. Now that's a lot of veggie, but that is why we love this recipe so much. Just gonna let that cook, and from the way this stove is working, it should be pretty quick. The stove is doing fabulous. Even the veggies are already getting tender. I'd be cooking this for 20 minutes in the house. Gas stove, electric stove, it's never cooked this fast. All right, the meat is all browned and the veggies are all tender. So we're gonna put the dry ingredients in. I like to mix all the dry ingredients in and cook them into the meat a little bit before adding the wet ingredients. It just seems like it has a better flavor. So there we go. Let's get that all stirred in and just let it cook together for a few minutes. We do need smell-o-vision. This smells fabulous already. I've cooked chili all my life, tried so many recipes and, and had a lot of really good ones. This is 
the best. Okay. All right, now we're gonna add the wet ingredients. We don't drain the beans, so all that good flavor in the juice. Definitely, we don't wanna waste that. And when I finish this, putting everything in here, I'm gonna take these cans in the house and put a little bit of water in each can to get the water that I need for the soup, which is one cup of water. So I don't wanna waste any of the good veggies. It looks beautiful. You can see all the different colors in there, the green and the white and the red. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna turn the fire down. I don't want it to scorch. And I'm going to get some water to put in these cans. So this is a cup of water from the Berkey. We use our Berkey water for everything. Even Scooter only drinks Berkey water. <laughs> because traveling, you just don't ever know what, how much you can trust the water wherever you go. Make sure we get all the good little bits out of the bottom of the cans. Let it cook. We could eat it right now, but the longer that it cooks, I think the better it's going to be. So I'm going to cook it about an hour before we eat it. Forgot to introduce my sous chef, Scooter. <laughs> Well, it's been cooking and it's come to a boil with the lid on it and I can't think of a better meal for this early autumn. I'm going to go ahead and serve it up. Nothing better than some scoops to go with it. I think we did right not using all the salt. Bon appetit. <laughs>